Hey, welcome back to another fine segment here on the Backroom Comics Podcast. Standing next to me is... Brian Meredith. Hello. Brian, among other things, being a comic shop impresario, uh, all-around nice guy, super rad dad, all trades, former comic assassin, book writer, you know, things like, like that. Star Wars. Star Trek, mostly. Okay. Yeah, well, Star Wars is good, too, but I, I'm more of a Trek guy, I guess. Good it's to all know. about Captain Kirk, Green Chicks, you know. Oh. Gotta love that. Yeah, how about that Green Chick in that new movie? Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. That was so awesome. Yeah. It was worth it just for that. Yeah. Anyway, though. Anyway, <clears throat> the reason we're here to talk to Brian today, among other things, is not about green chicks, although that's nice. That's always good, but, you know, you're right. Let's, yeah. uh, let's focus. Let's get down to business. Some <laughs> brass tacks. Exactly. Uh, you just wrapped up, well, Emerald just City Comic-Con. Emerald City Comic Con. Yes, a couple months ago, two, three. Yeah. Handful, yeah. Uh, something like that, weeks ago, Emerald City Comic Con ended up, 8th uh, Annual, finished up with a bang, our best year ever. Uh, 18,000 people through the door, a uh, huge, huge number for us, and it's allowed us to uh, do what we wanted to do for the last couple of years, which is go to three days. So as of uh, our ninth Annual show, come next uh, March 4th, 5th, and 6th, we will be a three-day show. Killer! Indeed, indeed. Uh, let's see. It was, I don't say I don't really know much to tell you about it, other than the fact that it was, you know, it, it blew everybody away. We were all happy with it. It went smooth. Uh, we did have a few problems with certain things, which, you know. Uh, you want to tell us what those are? Um, You're just going to hit it. Was, you know, honestly, there were some problems. There were some problems, you know, uh, some gunfire, you know, some red M&Ms, you know, the usual nonsense. But, no, seriously, I mean, we had issues, obviously, with Stanley, uh, with the photograph and uh, printer right. problems. Um, minor things. Photos, minor things, you know, but we've taken steps to resolve that stuff so that come next year, that is going to run completely and utterly smooth. And you guys have watched it grow. Yes, very much like, so. Are you, uh, see, are you seeing like huge leaps and bounds each um, year? This is like, you know, watching like one of those little baby alligators that you buy as a pet and then you flush it down the toilet and it grows into a big giant mutant and comes after you later as a, an adult. Yeah, I believe that's yeah, on the yeah. packaging. Yeah, 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 Please exactly. Flush after Please two flush weeks. after two weeks, right. Yeah, yeah um, that's, a, that's essentially Emerald City. It's a gigantic uh, sewer alligator. And okay. It's uh, bent on destroying us all. Well, and by that, I mean uh, having us give a good time and, Yay. you know, have fun. But, yeah, it is, it's been an amazing show. I mean, it started off as just a simple, tiny one-day show. Yeah. Uh, I think we had, like, a dozen guests that first year. <laughs> <laughs> now, honestly. That's kind of awesome. It, it is. It is. Because, I mean, I think now, nowadays, Emerald City, we have so many guests, I, I couldn't even begin to tell you who they are. No. It's and like there's so many of them. I'm just like, yeah, we've got, I don't know, just pick a name and anybody in the industry, they're probably here. You name it, they're there. Pretty which much. is great. Which is awesome. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's totally good. So, so we're growing. We're going right. to three days now. Yes, absolutely. Are, is there anything you can tell us that we can expect of some um, of the changes, or are you guys going to be doing things a little differently? A little more. There's there's a few things we'll be doing differently. Um, we're looking more to just streamline how everything works. Uh, one of the big issues that Jim and I, Jim Demonakos, uh, is uh, we're planning on doing is uh, our gaming section. We're eliminating okay. that from the floor completely. Whoa. We're not getting rid of gaming though. What we're doing Important. is we're gonna turn that, yeah, we're turning that into more of an after hours event so that after the show is done, Every, you know, we're going to have gaming tournaments going on in the panel rooms. Okay. Uh, so uh, this way they can go. It'll be more peaceful for them. They can run about, do their thing for as long as they need to be. Um, and it's going to it's going to free up the show floor so that we can now deal with things such as uh, <laughs> the congested lines with certain creators like Bendis, Brubaker, uh, Casada. Those guys just had massive lines. I haven't heard of those guys. Are they popular? Um, they do some I don't know indie comic or something. I don't know. Nah. You know who reads comics? Nerds. I, I can totally <laughs> Bunch of nerds, that too. Of geeks, I don't Mwah. Know. Who cares? You know, whatever. But anyway, yeah, we uh, we changed a few things there. We uh, we've got uh, a whole new show floor area for the media guests that we're gonna have next year, which is gonna be uh, just as amazing as this year. I mean, as you know, we had Nimoy this year, we had Stanley. Those guys were awesome. Uh, next year, expect more of the same. You know, big, bad, awesome. better, the best. Um, and and touching into this with like the media guests, yes. and clearly. 
are a huge draw for it, mm -hmm. not the only draw, because there's a bunch no, of No, 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 absolutely. It's not what we're about. I mean, no. we like having the media guests, and, you know, we have a certain line uh, that we just won't cross with it. We're not just going to get Joe Schmo, uh, you know, like, yeah, here's like a bunch of Baywatch babes or something, which I'm not knocking them at all, thank you very much. But, you know, if you're going to have somebody, you know, a media guest at a comic book show, make sure that they're tied integrally into the into the comics themselves or the pop culture. Or the world, yeah. Right, right. It's like, you know, Nimoy, you know. S Spock, hey, yeah, he seems like an easy fit, you know. Stan Lee, mm, okay, well, I don't think we really need to go over what he did, but no, hey, it, it, you know, I think yeah, he kind of, you know, he kind of fits. He's done a couple things. Yeah, yeah. And seeing like Aaron Gray there, who uh, was just as sweet as could be. Oh, I heart Aaron Gray, uh, totally. Lovely, she, she is lovely awesome. lady. And uh, everybody that she deals with, and she's brought to the to the board for us, they've all been great. Yeah. And so, I mean, we we're definitely going to continue pursuing having some great media guests, but it is not what we are about, and it never will be. We are always first and foremost a comic book show. Which is good to know. Yeah. Speaking of comic book show. Yes, comic One book show. One thing that was definitely announced and got everyone really excited mm -hmm. at the ECC Correct. was... Jet City Comic Show. Do, do, do. Yes. So I've taken it upon myself to essentially fill in the long gap between the year from one Emerald City to the next yep. by placing smack dab in the middle, six months both ways there, so to speak, uh, Jet City Comic Show, which is going to be very much a harken back to the old days of Emerald City to the whole, hey, look, we got a dozen guests. Hey, look, it's a one-day show. And that's exactly what it's going to be, and that's what it's always going to be. With this one, we're going to refuse to let grow. It's going to be capped, and it's going to stay this kind of basic size. It's totally going to be like this private party. Yeah, it's going to be something very much Private more, secret comic party. Yeah, yeah. You'll have to have a password Are to get through the door. On the list? There's, yeah, you better be on the list because there will be bouncers at the door, people. Make sure you get your name on the list. Wearing glasses. Oh, and yeah, yeah. And casting yeah. magic missile. Oh, yeah. Magic missile. Good times. Yeah. But yes, it's uh, it'll be a good show. It's going to be uh, very, very, very much more intimate. You know, um, going to be focusing more on a lot of the local creators that we have in the Pacific Northwest. You know, guys from Portland, the guys from Seattle, the guys from Vancouver. Um, we're going to just really try to shoot for something a little bit more. Um, I don't, not necessarily down to earth, but as great as Emerald City is. It has just become so huge, and there's so much to see from everywhere that we wanted to have something where people could come in, relax, enjoy, chat, talk, have fun in a more relaxed, relaxing atmosphere. And that's you know really kind of what we're trying to focus for. Which is great. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Again, just something to uh, kind of fill in the gaps between the big big show. Now you mentioned six months either way. Yes. But what are these specific dates? The specific date is September so people can mark 25th. Their calendar. Yes. September 25th. Uh, September 25th will be the first uh, Jet City Comic Show. It is a Saturday. It is located at the Seattle Center Exhibition Hall, which is underneath the Opera House right there on Mercer, I believe. Yeah, that sounds about Mercer? right. Mercer? Yes. I can... It's like, yeah, 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 close enough. It's if, close if you enough. can get that close. You, uh, just look for the big giant space needle thing ooh, that's, you know, ooh. and then you head for there, and then you'll just, you'll find a bunch of people, probably stormtroopers, roller girls, running around. You'll be able to find be us. Great. Yeah. What, what might help, instead of trying to get uh, directions off of this? Website, perhaps. Maybe there's a... Yes, if you guys are curious. If only there was a machine device that I've heard of some sort of thing like that. Some sort of uh, some sort of uh, you know mind machine from the future computer. or something. Computer. Computer. Yes, the computer. The computer has told me that there is a magical, magical place that you can go and find out about it. It is called www.jetcitycomicshow.com. Well, that surprisingly yes. makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I know. I great. I wouldn't have. Sir, thought you've myself. made it too easy for people. You would think so. I know, but I, I'll really try to work on making it a little more difficult next time. I promise. I promise. Next time. Okay. Yeah. All right. You heard it here. Indeed. Backroom Comics podcast. Me, Brian. Me, Pete.